through and through. I, uh, that, that's um, uh, the whole of my existence, my uh, life is in the BBC. Um, but, and the BBC uh, has been doing uh, a great deal of technological advances, which you in broadcast will probably know more about than me. But I'm quite sure that, for example, the iPlayer uh, costs a lot of money, you know. Um, and the, 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 the people who are guiding the destinies of the BBC is going to decide that it can't do everything. Indeed, one of the criticisms of the BBC, which uh, has a certain quality to it, is that the BBC in the past has perhaps erred in trying to do everything. And the BBC has decided that it's going to put its, uh, uh, deploy its resources in iPlayers and other such things, and that 3D isn't something that they can take on at the moment. Though it is not true to say that they aren't doing anything. They are. They have their own unit who's trying to do uh, uh, 3D projects, but they haven't launched the network in the way that Sky has. Um, and when um, uh, the, the, the idea came up that we might do um, a 3D thing for IMAX and also get it to go on, on television, uh, and Anthony was kind enough to ask me whether I could be involved, I'm afraid, rather selfishly, maybe unprincipledly, but I, I, I said to myself, I, I really, I, having started on 405, but I really, I really would like to sort of take this last step too. So, so I did, and I'm extremely grateful to Sky for uh, enabling me to do so. You have